we were given a tour of the Adam factory by Klaus Heinz, the founder and owner of the company. I have to say that it was much larger than I'd expected, and it produces a huge range of studio monitors and, more recently, hi-fi and multimedia speakers. The cabinet work is carried out overseas for reasons of economy, but the built quality and the piano gloss finish of the hi-fi cabinets is certainly quite impressive. Adam's high-frequency driver is often referred to as a folded ribbon, though the operating principle has little in common with a conventional ribbon tweeter. Adam preferred to call it an Air Motion Transformer, or AMT. A specially shaped conductive path is printed onto an insulating diaphragm material, which is then folded, concertina-like, and placed within a strong magnetic field. When a current is passed through the membrane, adjacent folds move towards or away from each other, creating an air motion four times that of a conventional ribbon of the same frontal area. All of Adam's AMT tweeters are hand-built in their Berlin factory, the first stage of which is to cut the individual diaphragms from a continuous roll. The conductive print has already been applied by this stage. The next step is to fold the diaphragm using a special jig, as even the smallest error at this stage will compromise the operation of the finished tweeter. This is very time-consuming, but is too critical to entrust to a machine. We were told that the total assembly time of an AMT tweeter is around 30 minutes, whereas a conventional dome tweeter can be built in a small fraction of that time. Once folded, the diaphragms are fitted to the front plates using a precision application of adhesive. During this process, the diaphragm is kept in shape by a slotted and weighted jig until the adhesive cures. Lead-out wires are connected to the diaphragm and sealed in place with adhesive. Once the neodymium magnet assembly has been fitted, the finished tweeter is checked using a purpose-built test rig to ensure that its performance falls within very tight limits. The quality is so consistent that there is no need to match up the tweeters in stereo pairs. Here we can see the finished and tested AMT tweeters waiting to be fitted. Finally, the tweeter is fitted to the cabinet and connected to the active electronics after which the whole speaker assembly is again tested and inspected.